The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know. But it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. Le Chasseur has a lead on the box. To meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what did he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to, well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall, like cathedrals in Rome, bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both can be lovely. You see, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Scars all but made! Douse the mizzen tops! Hold them in! Get off the wind! Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ships in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry. You can catch him... there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Captain? 
I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Che. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. There he Morgan is! Now Most fortunate timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us! Give chase! But hold your fire! We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can't this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. They're coming out! Our target's a smart man, but out of his element. Samuel Smith is the Templar treasure. What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or ran into your pirates. He's refitting his ship. Something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked me, I would have known about it. But he's back from a long voyage. Now's our chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templars well, doesn't he? Came out of the way. Washington trusted the precursor box. He probably still has it. Shave right. The box comes first. But we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship or force him to beach. Here it comes! Brace yourselves! Take it here! Grace! Look, Captain. He's cutting through the ice. It seems you are not the only one equipped with such a ramp, shape. Let us hope ours fares just as well. They're firing! He's off the wind! Loose on trip two. Crowded all on. Stunts so out! It worked. The way is clear. Now, uh, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is giving away. The Pope has told me what is closely. It's an ambush. Stop where you sit, young little fan. Smith must not escape. Lose the touch, no end. Fire! Fire! I don't see Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find him. Those the gallant and Fire! Fire!
the wind! There's Smith. He's moving again. No doubt he hoped to be a spectator of your device. I'm glad to disappoint him. And he's still within reach. New sail! What wickedness is this? Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. Careful. It's quite a rough squad, Captain. Where he was headed. The bastard has an encampment here. Follow him on land. Do not even think of firing the ship's weapons near that precious box. I'll take care of this. artifact treasure from those who came before yes it matters not <coughs> some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript and all shall be revealed <coughs> 